everywhere you look. Stunning. One of four in the world. Hey everyone, if you're just catching up with us, I'm Steven, and this is my wife, Elaine. Last week, we went to Cambridge University, the alma mater of Isaac Newton. We saw the Corpus Clock, some museums, and looked at some of the most amazing architecture. Today, we are in Lincoln, UK, to see what was the tallest building in the world at the time it was built. But first, we wanted to stop by Isaac Newton's home in Lincolnshire. Oh, okay, it's super windy. So, we finally made it. It's about 4 p.m. or so to Isaac Newton's house where he grew up and was born. Um, but unfortunately, as you can probably hear, there's construction work. So, they have closed it. Wah, wah. Um, but that's the house where Isaac Newton was born and lived. So now we've been to his house and we've been to Cambridge, the college where he went to school. When the Great Plague of London shut down Cambridge in 1665, Newton returned home and began formulating his theories on calculus. He also wrote an essay called Of Colors, describing his dissection of light and the basis for his book Optics. Interestingly enough, we learned before he was 10, Isaac Newton was taken out of school to work this land as a farmer. Although that didn't take, it was this apple tree that inspired his work on gravity. Yeah, we did a little Newton tour. We hope you're enjoying our video. And if you do, please like and subscribe so you can get all of our adventures every time we post one. We are here at the Lincoln Cathedral. When this cathedral was made, it was the tallest building in the world. Today, it's still the third largest cathedral here in the UK. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. It was built back in 1071. I can't imagine being a nun or a monk and living here. It is so windy and open. I'm sure that's wonderful in the summer, but it's like 40 degrees right now and it's windy, so it's really cold. Okay, so I just read that they redid this wall. It's been redone at the top. You can see some of the damage before, but they left these slits in because the knotters bats made homes in it and they don't want to displace them. So even though they um, redid most of the wall, they left slits every so often and the bats have a home. This is a copy of the Magna Carta, one of four in the world. Two in the British Museum, one in Salisbury Cathedral, and one here in the Leakin Cathedral. This document is what said that all laws are based on. It is the first document that established that the king was not above the law, but that the law was the power in it of itself. so cold in here, my nose is like ready, but we got here too late for to catch any of the tours that happened, um, but just to enter it was $9, nine pounds per adult. 
uh, which is pretty great. There's a lot more in here than we expected to see. Every time you turn, it's like bam, big beautiful, little stainless glass. Bam, big beautiful orient. And then you turn again, another beautiful stained glass. You know? Just everywhere you look, stunning. This is an amazingly large building. There's no way they could pay to heat this place. This thing is just so open and so big. You probably play American football in this uh, in this cathedral. It's huge. It is massive. It's beautiful. So we have to like whisper because there's nothing but stone. So if you talk loudly, your voice just echoes throughout the whole place. We were lucky enough when we first got here, someone was practicing the organ. Imagine building this. It took 30 plus years to build it. 30? Yeah, 32 years. Yeah. And that's the wind outside. Like, oh, bring your jackets to church, people. Bring them to church. Yeah, then inside. <laughs> All joking aside, it was warmer as soon as we stepped out into the windy courtyard. We love coming to little towns like Lincoln and enjoying the best that they have to offer. And this cathedral is definitely one of them. We had an amazing time. It was above all of our expectations. We just thought it would be a quick 20 minute stop and I think we've been here for an hour, hour and a half. Hopefully our parking is still okay. Um, but it was absolutely beautiful. Everywhere we looked, there was something cool and new and well, <laughs> unique and old to see. And yeah, it was stunning. So happy we came. We hope you enjoyed Lincoln Cathedral today. It's a fascinating place. And if you're ever in the area, we suggest you visit. See you next time. Like and subscribe to our video If you wanna keep us on the road Like and subscribe, like and subscribe Like and subscribe, like and subscribe I got dizzy <laughs> <laughs>